Here you go. Hello, welcome back. We're into week two, and James has already started taking off the windows. And the doors, we've got the roof off, more or less. We've swept up all the downstairs. We've done as much as we're gonna do in here for the next couple of days. So I'm gonna concentrate on the area at the back in the courtyard, just get a bit of that cleared up and all the junk on the back of the truck. And the guys now are out the front and they've already started putting the meshing up and started doing a bit of the rendering. Which is a good start makes a massive difference just seeing it in one colour. Uh, that sign that you saw on the road for the speed hunt, we're going to try and get that removed and hopefully that will be uh, taken out in the next couple of weeks or so. It's not really in the way of what they're doing at the moment, but it'd be nice just to have that away from the front of the house. So we're going to carry on seeing if we can just get rid of all the loose stuff. So let's get on. Anyway. We'll find out whether this is that. Uh... Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> 
It was, that was literally yeah, just, just sitting, sitting on, on it. <laughs> that came off way too easy. Well, it didn't collapse. Am I going to lean on this and there's nothing there? I'm scuffing my boots. Yeah, but they look nice. I'm definitely going to have to have a uh, second pair. Second for pair. Best. Good pair for best. You then just fill it up with rubble. I don't know. The wool in there, you might need the wool. No, we do, because it's back there, isn't it? Yeah. So you, you can always take this back. Well, if you take, take it back to this wool, and then you just build the. the you build the So now we have a view, which is good. And when we took this wall off, it's pretty much left the top bit intact, which is really nice. And it's a nice height as well, because I'm standing up and I could just lean on it. Sitting down, you can see over it as well. Pleased with that. That's it for today. Gonna go home, chill out, we'll carry on tomorrow. So it's the weekend and we're trying to, as much as possible, try and keep the house separate and do that during the week so that we've got time during the weekends to get on with all the things that we need to be getting on with our houses. And I haven't been with the dogs for a while. Through the end of the village, there's a lane that got cuts off and I'm really interested to know where it goes because I haven't been down here yet and I'm on there now. We're just gonna go for a little drive because I need to go to the shops and just see where it takes us. just left the car up the top there because it's getting narrower and narrower. I think we've probably chosen the wrong route. So we're going to have to reverse all the way back and see if we can get down there. Oh, not doing very well here.
One of the reasons I love going for these little drives through the hills is because you come out in areas you haven't been to and just looking back down now into this village, you can see just how many houses there are on every hill and they're not always so easy or obvious to get to. There is a road down there that I can see, but there's a village over there, up in there, up in the hills over there. They're just dotted around absolutely everywhere. It's fascinating to just see that there are these very well-maintained roads dotted around through the smallest of villages. Look at that, we got rain finally. Just got back in the nick of time because the heavens have literally just opened up and the wind's picked up as well, looking very grey over there. The weather forecast did say it was going to rain, but after the last few weeks of it will, it won't, it will, it won't, we just gave up worrying about it. But of course we've got the guys working on the side of the house over the weekends as well so they probably obviously had to come to a grinding halt on that one but of course we've got no front door no windows and no roof so this is going to be interesting going back tomorrow so we put the corrugated sheet up there so that the water wouldn't splash any dirty water splash on the neighboring wall and it's completely going over the top of it. So it didn't quite go as planned. But anyway, you see how the water's doing in here. Now we knew that there was gonna be some leakage on the roof because obviously we're having that repaired and getting the jet wash up there as well to remove a load of the old debris and all the old moss that's up there. We were expecting something. Not too much down here. Obviously that's all gonna be repaired. Some in the middle here can't see where that's coming down from, but there's nothing in this room. That's a good start. But what is it like up here? Bear in mind, we had about four hours of rain yesterday. This is already starting to dry out, which is good because as you can see, got no roof. It's not looking too bad. What's it like downstairs? So I have already been down here this morning, but I haven't, or I didn't pay too much attention to it because as soon as I saw it wasn't flooded, I ignored it. But you can see down here, water has dripped through down into the basement area, but not too much. We've been really fortunate. I mean, considering it rained for four hours, non-stop, that's not bad. Little sweep up in here, get rid of all that. And we're ready to rock and roll. but it's really opened up this space now more or less around about eight meters from that wall to that wall and that's turned out to be quite a nice little courtyard space but hopefully now you can see with this wall here this is the bread oven and now that we can walk all the way around it this is going to be a really nice feature so once we've tidied up all the tiles and put this all back again that's going to look really nice and we'll take off all of this plaster that's been put on it just to I can't move any of it just to reveal more of the stones that's going to look dead cool so we've got a nice stone wall here stone wall around there I'm going to build a stone wall across there so you have like a bar area a counter 
I'm going to take that door out and with the stones that we've got on the floor here we're going to rebuild around the door hole there and hopefully that will block it all out. We'll take some of the render and plaster off of that wall and uh, reveal the stone. So we've got a lot of character that we're keeping in here. quite pretty in there didn't it so last time I filled this bag up I did it to the top and I could barely move it I was being a bit greedy but I was also going around quite a lot of trees and this time around I've gone right halfway full because I've still got to carry it around two-thirds of our walk and we're about to go up the hill as well so I'm going to do a Santa Claus with it over my shoulder and this time around though I managed to get all of these pine cones just from around one tree which is useful and I'm hoping this will do us now for the end of the month and then hopefully from then on we won't actually need the salamander but I'm going to keep collecting these as we go through the year so I have a good selection when we get to the next winter and hopefully I'll be able to collect enough wood as well from my land to make sure that going into the next winter that we don't have to get it from anywhere else so I can start storing it and leaving it out in the sun to dry. Anyway, I'm gonna carry on walking the dog, so I'll see you in the morning. been walking for about 10 minutes with this bag over my shoulder. We're right back where I started collecting the pine cones in the first place. Oh, I was such an idiot. Could have just left it here, carried on and then come back again. My arm is aching already and we still got about 10 or so minutes to go in that direction. So yeah, next time I bring a smaller bag. Uh, well, if nothing else, this is really good exercise, so I'm not complaining. We all need it, don't we, from time to time. So if I can get a double whammy, walk in the dogs and give my arms a going over, then I'm not going to complain. This is, after all, what it's all about, isn't it? Although I could have made my life a bit easier. Nah, I'm not complaining. Look at that sky. A bit noisy that's the loudest I've heard them so far so I've just done a little walk around this house because I've had a couple of questions that I want to answer um, which I think is going to be quite useful for people watching my videos anyway so uh, the first one actually before I get on to that is we had some rain last night and I think we're going to be getting more in the next week or so which isn't too good for the house down the road there but for here it's brilliant because I've just been walking around the area here and it's definitely going greener even in the area at the front where the dead cork trees are I ran over it with a tractor and at the back there as well not only that but it's grass not just weeds which is brilliant uh, anyway the house that'll be the second thing the first one is the well why or how or when am I going to finish it and uh, probably all of those uh, it's going to be finished as soon as I get the concrete rings in I haven't had them yet and they're still out of stock three manufacturers in Portugal all outside the Algarve and for whatever reason 
we can't get them at the moment so hopefully it will happen pretty soon i was hoping to get them done already but you know uh that's life isn't it at the end of the day i just got to be patient um i can't do anything with regard to growing anything in there yet because the tractor needs access in and out to get those concrete rings in and that's going to be right over where i want to grow stuff so polytunnel pot plants we'll get it all sorted out and hopefully we'll get it planted as and when the season requires it anyway this house here when am i going to start I had to shoot up on the roof because I had to pop out for a second just at that key moment. So 23rd of this month is when they're starting on this roof and that is going to be fantastic. Uh, they reckon it's going to take about two weeks to do. So in two weeks they start, two weeks they finish. On top of that, because this is going to be really good because this whole area here is now going to be flat. You can't see it, but it's like up and down, up and down. It's going to be flat, fixed, everything ready for me to put tiles on it. Now, on top of that, the guys that are helping doing the rendering around the other house, I'm going to see if I can get them here after these guys are finished to render this house. My plan was to put insulation around the outside of this house, but I've had a good long hard think about this and I think that the expense of doing it, given that everything is just shooting up in price, may not actually work out and give me what I think I should be getting out of it with regard to insulation. So I have got them to come here they'll do all that which would be fantastic because there's nothing I can do to this house until this roof is done and so if I can get all of that in one hit then it means that I have a house that looks like a house and then everything from there on will be me doing it which means I can control it so with my experience of the previous houses I have learnt when to give things to other people and when to do things myself if I was to do this myself it would take an awful long time plus it won't look as good as getting these guys to do it so I'd rather this house look really good on the outside and then everything else I know that I know that I can really do well I'll do it myself so that look forward to is going to be happening hopefully very soon so there's gonna be a lot of juggling going on but I'm hoping that in the not too distant future we'll have a lovely house over there and what will look like a lovely house here on the outside we shall see fingers crossed anyway I am going to end it on that note but actually before I do I just want to show you this very quickly See those tiles down there? So we took the tiles off the other house and we are gonna be using it on um, the courtyard area. We're gonna take them off, put new bamboo down, clean up the beams and put new, those tiles back on. But on the house itself, we don't have enough for that and they're really expensive. And as I've just said about insulation, we need to make sure that house is gonna be good because in the winter times, it's a difference between having a short, cozy, warm winter and a long drawn out cold winter. And we wanna make sure that the roof is a really important part of that. But down here on top of there, although it doesn't need it, this house has got quite a lot of character in its own way. This house was also be built around the same time as the other house, so those tiles are kind of the same time period. I'm gonna put a little pitch on that roof there, which is above the temporary kitchen, and I'm gonna put those tiles on there just to add a visual to this house and I think that's going to look really nice there will be no tiles wasted any of the spare ones will be reusing somewhere else as well anyway on that note I'm going to say goodbye thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed it sorry for the little bit of chatting at the end there um, it's going to get busy so thank you all very much and we're almost there at 10,000 subscribers and I will be celebrated when we get there so thank you all so much as always thanks for your comments and more than ever now Make sure that you look after yourself and stay happy and of course, stay positive. Until Saturday, look after yourselves. Bye-bye.